We're back, folks, for the last day of the week and the last day of our weekly challenge with the robots on Bridge Base. We're playing a match point challenge, and it is Friday, which means not only are we playing the last day of the challenge, but it is day one of the weekend game. The weekend pro am, myself, some of the other best players in the Bridge world, playing every weekend. For bridge glory in the weekend game i have an aftermarket video for you guys to take a look at every week with that game as well so you can get your chops in you can play the boards and then you can see the results video afterwards take a look at what you did well and maybe what you could have done better and also we'll see kind of look back at some of the crazy stuff that some of the pros do to try to actually get one up on their besties who they're playing these tournaments against but until we play that one, let's let's just not uh, skip over these last two boards. These hands are relatively easy to bid. I mean, nothing's easy to bid uh, in these situations, but we we have to know that our hand is way too good to preempt, right? So in, in any seat, some of you see a seven card suit like ah, I have to bid a lot of these. Well, no, not really. You need to. You need to start by opening one. And here we see partner bids two no trump. This is not Jacoby two no trump. And that is very important to recognize because partner's a past hand, right? Partner did not open the bidding. If partner was going to raise spades here, they would bid Drury, to be honest. That would be the bid they would be making. But here, two no trump is a balanced invite. We accept their invitation, except we will accept it in spades. Uh, par partner's balanced. We know we have a fit. Even if they have a singleton spade, if they're semi-balanced and bluffing a little bit, we're in the right spot to be bidding four spades. We do not want to be losing tricks in a no-trump contract that we wouldn't necessarily be losing in spades, so we're in the right spot here. Tough lead for the robot, man. This is brutal. Um, take a look at this. We have a great way to get rid of a diamond loser on this end. Look. If they lead anything but a diamond, we're going to cash the ace king of hearts. We're going to cross to the ace of diamonds. And we're going to plunk down the queen of hearts and pitch away our losing diamond. Unfortunately, the robot, in their infinite wisdom, has gotten off to a diamond lead. Now, watch what happens. If we play the ace of diamonds, great. Now we can cash the ace king of hearts, but how do we get to dummy? Well, we have to hope we lead a low club to the king that they duck to our left. And then maybe we get rid of that, uh, the diamond, if they're if they're falling asleep and they aren't up to this play. Um, the problem with that is if they are up to this play or if the ace club is just wrong for us, we will never be in this dummy to take a spade finesse after this, right? So there's a lot of things at play here. And we have to tip our caps to the robots making a pretty stellar lead, I have to be honest, right? We would prefer anything else because at least it would give us a shot, a shot at pitching away this losing diamond. Um, here, I think we're just gonna have to take a finesse, right? right? We could bamboozle them, right? If Lefty has the ace of clubs, he might be bamboozleable bull, <laughs> if that is a word. But I think once we cash the ace king of hearts and lead a club, it's gonna be pretty obvious what we're trying to do. So here, I'm just kind of hoping they're leading away from the king, which I also understand is quite unlikely, right? Ooh, they are though, nice, okay, good. All right, so here, just thinking about it and, and getting this right play. Now, you might think, that's great. Now we can pitch something on that heart. But guess what? What, what are we going to pitch on the heart? Well, we're going to pitch a useless card now. We're going to pitch a club, which still gives us one club loser. So now, all we're happy about is that we didn't lose a diamond, right? We, we were hoping we could pitch it, but now we know we're not going to lose it. So here, we just take a spade finesse. Are we getting super lucky? Ah, we're not. Can't get super lucky. All right here. We're now just going to go about our business. We're going to play the ace of spades. We're not going to try to finesse this. This isn't like, it's not a nine never situation, but it's the same concept here. So here, whoa, now, now we're doing quite well. We might mess around now, right? And 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 play some spades, right? Maybe, maybe they just start pitching cards like crazy. And we, we have a chance to maybe squeeze them out of something. It seems unlikely, by the way. Uh, and I'm not really going to give it a, a, a huge shot here. We did not see that. And there we go. We will just end up losing the card we knew we were going to lose, the Ace of Clubs. And there it is. All right, so not too bad, plus 450. 
cards we lost pretty obvious cards the two the two black cards right we lost the king of spades and the ace of clubs nothing we were going to do to avoid those unless of course the opponents were super sleepy not on this time the robots are pretty wide awake at all times here's our last chance to excel guys take a moment i mean this is one time i might open a no trump and it's only because i i don't mind singleton kings uh, especially being led towards i that's a card you're going to score i can't say always but you're going to score it so frequently that you'd be shocked if you if you're opening no trump with this sort of thing but i'm also not saying you should open a no trump with this hand in regularity but look at the alternative if you open a club and partner bids a heart you have an easy rebid no problem at all club a heart boom you bid a spade what if you open a club and partner bids a no trump what do you do and now you're kind of stuck. You, you don't really have the values to reverse or bid two now, right? Uh, also, you're probably a little worried about no trump. You don't want to rebid two clubs. Uh, I mean, I, either way, you're you're going to probably be lying about your hand at some point. I don't mind doing this. And I find that Murphy's Law says this is happening, by the way. I love it. Uh, so the moment you decide to open no trump with your your singleton major suit card partner is is like now 98 percent to transfer to that suit <laughs> and now they're doing it at the four level but honestly the singleton king i don't mind having that in partner's best suit and if they're gonna texas transfer here oh yeah, we have a fit anyway a magic right so i'm not i'm never terribly devastated about this partner does a real good job of getting us to the right spot and we will now hopefully uh, avoid a spade rough. That jack of spades was scary. Ooh, the bright person's winning this one. Uh, okay, good. Rest are ours. We're going to rough a diamond over there, not to avoid anything. We just have to make sure we can draw some trump. And then it's claim city. And that is enough. Oh, they're, they're, they're taking their sweet time over there. All right, let's dance. All right, here comes the result. Let's see how we did. Is it that I jinx myself by not actually putting the sound on and getting a victory in the middle there? All right, there are our results, and it looks like we just squeaked it out, 60%. Uh, it, was, it was battling back and forth, a uh, couple of bad results. Look at this. Uh, the first two boards are hilarious. Uh, the first board, they ended up playing one heart doubled in the east, and let's... Uh, Let's take a peek at, at how they got this done here. So we were in three no Trump. And let's just remind you of our auction. Uh, I opened a no Trump. Uh, and I opened it with a 14 count. I, I think I might have forgotten to tell you guys that. Uh, we, we didn't see these boards because this is uh, I, this was my mistake for uh, not recording the other uh, eight boards with sound. But the first board was us opening uh, a no Trump and getting to a nice three no Trump. But they were in one heart double and let's see what happened it went a diamond by south which is more normal double redouble one heart and then south doubled which is a penalty-ish double right it's important to recognize that after this bid anytime we redouble for business meaning that it's showing this this sort of good 10 or more points subsequent doubles by our side are penalty and and south chose to saw them off at the one level that's kind of ballsy i gotta say um, but they do not get rewarded because they went plus 300 and we went plus 400 for making three no Trump, uh, aggression on my side, too bad. Uh, this one though, uh, look at this hand. Uh, I briefly touched on this where I open a spade and then jump shift and, and correct to four spades. Look at the robots though. The robots don't correct to four spades with this hand. They actually played three no Trump. And they take the same number of tricks as I do, uh, which, to be honest, they, they had a tougher run of it. But the diamonds break evenly. And obviously, it looks like they guessed hearts correctly. So th this is a hand where they also were taking 13 tricks, but they were in no trump. Uh, so tip of the cap to the robot there. Congratulations. I am very uncomfortable playing three no trump. Uh, and I, I have to say, well, let's be honest, guys. Be fair. Be fair. Which one of us was in the better contract? Me in spades. Or the robot in no Trump. Which one of us more likely got a correct 13 tricks? Because <laughs> take a look. That club suit looks like it could surrender, I don't know, three tricks minimum. <laughs> so here the robot, you know, outscored us. But I think we can agree. Uh, or at least I'm going to say we bid it better for sure. Uh, the other boards that we looked at, uh, this one, four spades uh, is 
you know, the same thing we did over here. We, we kind of knew this was going to be super normal, uh, just playing four spades. This one was where we opened one no trump once again with 14, and this was more realistic. This time we had a really nice five-card suit. And again, we knew this was going to happen for us, right? This was awesome. They played four spades and actually went down, right? So here, when we look at the other table, this was a, would have been a huge swing for us if we were playing imps. But on this one, it goes a spade instead of a no trump. They have a Drury auction and they play four spades and they're not in the best spot, right? A couple of balanced hands opposite each other. You can see why no trump was better for us than four spades was for them. So big swing on that board. And then the rest of them for us, this one, three clubs in the south. Um, uh, this was just us going down one less trick, it looks like. Uh, they they went down two tricks in their three club contract and this was the one honestly i thought i probably could have played this slightly better um i think maybe playing a diamond a little earlier is, is safer at least in the long run for for perfect defenders uh this one again maybe just one trick here or there this just shows the power of match points we're in two diamonds making three or sorry we're in two diamonds making four whereas our robot opponents are in two diamonds making only three there at the other tables. So just one trick better is enough for that 100% versus the 50. Ooh, this one, they took one extra trick. Good for them, look at that. They apparently never got to score their club uh, in the East-West player's hand on that one. So that was an extra one. And this last one, you know, four hearts looked like we were destined to play that. So, I mean, I'm not gonna jinx it. I would say, I'm gonna say six in a row because I did play a dummy tournament where I wasn't speaking. When I say dummy, I was the dummy. I couldn't actually uh, be heard while I was talking. So uh, this is our uh, officially our fifth win in a row. But we're gonna we're gonna say there is a there is a sixth victory that is has shown but not spoken of. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll be back next week. We'll be playing imps once again. Uh, this was a nice match point look, and uh, we'll be back trying to grind those. Uh, those marginal games and get these bigger swings when we're dealing with the robot in that scoring format. So until next time, guys, I'll either see you in the weekend game, I'll see you in classes at bridgelesson.com, or I'll see you right here on YouTube. So any of those formats, guys, I hope to see you there soon, or all of those formats, you never know. Talk to you guys later, and may all your finesses be winners until I see you again. Take care.